Hello YouTube, I am back with another video and it's going to be another haul. I have a lot of things, lots of things for Christmas, um, the New Year's about to come up in a day or two, I don't know when I'm going to upload this after I finish recording this. The point is, um, this last week of December has been bananas and I got a lot of manga and art books so it's sort of a lot so I decided I'm going to share with um you guys so please bear with me as i go through all the things i got for you and i'm gonna start with manga first because um i got a lot of that first and i usually like to end the video with art books so um yeah let's get started okay so for the first manga that i got i have um shokyo jinuri re or revelation volume one um i did a um I did a, a haul showing the first seven volumes of the first series, and now I have this, the second series. Um, one of the few good, if I could give me a second while I try to open this. Oh, this is a lot tougher than I thought. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, one of the very few good horror manga that i've read in a long while i read some junji ito books and um when i do get like more junji ito i will unbox it with you guys but this the um the first series got me at the edge of my seat now it's sort of like i'm um, a different set of characters in a different setting and a different world it seems like but the main character says um he's sort of afraid of dying like a normal dude right thing is like when you read this you're just like oh no duh everyone's sort of afraid of dying but then when you see um you realize something's wrong when you see the teacher's response to that to hearing that and he's like he retracts it i'm just like yo he's afraid of dying but why is your response like that and it's it's sort of a way of word the storytelling that i like because you know something's up what he said is perfectly normal but she takes it as like he just said the most craziest thing then when you start reading um the setting and what's going on like i'm not gonna spoil it but let's just say that the world or the society that everyone's living in is sort of crazy the main character um i forgot his name sort of um finds two other people um this dude and this guy um these two are also sort of like him in which they realize that the rest of the world is sort of insane and um yeah the main character sort of tries to rebel against the society and works with um two other dudes to figure out what the hell is going on um full of creepy scenes like this definitely read it um the first series um the first shoku shokyo jinjuri or starving anonymous is done it's only seven volumes if you get your hands on it i don't know if it's translated honestly um if it's not, read it wherever you can. Um, but yeah, really good um, horror manga. Um, yeah, check it out or read it wherever you can, however you can. On to the next one. Next manga I got is Chojin X Volume Four. Yes, I am still keeping up to keeping up to date with this. Um, the story was sort of going exactly the way I thought it was going, but um, sort of um, switching up and changing. So. I I'm 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 invested. I'm invested. I, um, yeah, once again, I, I could have sworn this guy was gonna turn evil and um, fight Tokyo, his his best friend, like most shonen dynamics go through. But um, as it as it stands now, it seems like he's on the good side. But um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, once again, the action is very dynamic with how Ishidasui draws. So like all oh, these um, um speed lines, this moment it sort of um shows that Tokyo is not taking things seriously. Therefore, you sort of have this impression that he has he's holding a lot more power back than he lets on. Like you can sort of um, sense that there's a bit of insecurity in um his friend, Azuma, and he goes sort of like awakening mode you could say he saves him anyway though because he's just that uh, much of an upstanding guy 
Oh, oh, you see it? Ah, uh, Shonen no Abyss. Ah, uh, read it. Uh, it's really good. It's getting a TV drama. Um, definitely something that I don't think he'd get an anime and get away with it, but a TV drama might be the next best thing. But that's for a different video for another time. Well, read it though. Read it when you have a chance. But yeah, um, I'm Choji next. Again, I'm still invested on where it's gonna go. We'll see how it, how it goes eventually. Um, hopefully it starts picking up because again, with Tokyo Ghoul, sort of slow in the beginning, but when it picks up, it's a roller coaster. Things are fast, things are going nonstop. So I have hope for this. So yeah, on to the next one. This manga I got is this, and I don't know what it's called. Hold up, let me see. Nude Model by Tsubasa Yamaguchi. And I already did an artist analysis on her. She is the artist and author for Blue Period. Now, I love this artist. Um, pretty good, unique art style. I love the stories that um, she makes, honestly. I read some of her one shots, and I think this book is full of the one shots she has done. And as you know, I'm an artist, so I eat this up. I haven't read this yet, so I don't know what it's about. But it looks like an artist that's doing some sort of modeling thing. Yeah, this art style is pretty, pretty unique. Um, and again, I don't know what's it about. This is going to be a very short section of the video. But I need to eventually get um, the girl and her cat. It's one of the other things she's done. She's done that with um, Makoto Shinkai. Um, yeah, that was nude new model yeah by Tsubasa Yamaguchi I didn't read it yet so um, I'm looking forward to see what this is all about so yeah short part but um yeah on to the next one so what I got is the breaker volume 4 I unfortunately I opened this already I couldn't wait I had to open this I unboxed or unwrapped volumes 1 2 and 3 um, I think the next omnibus is gonna be the final um, because um, where we are at in the story, it's sort of towards the end of part one. Now, The Breaker part three is sort of currently ongoing by the time I'm recording this video. And um, people have complaints about it, sure. Um, it's sort of different, sort of bad. Um, I'm reading it still because I sort of want to have faith in where it goes. I, I am going to miss this um, this black and white aesthetic because you could really get some crazy, like, like scenes was just the was just black and white man i miss when shion was literally just a student i was like some sort of important dude in this clan like you don't get like um panel structures like this that much with webtoons like how the figures out the panel like many things like that like you could sort of format it this way even with a web comic but with um with the comic book format or the manga or manhwa format, like things like this and how like the car goes over the, the, get the gutters, things like aiming the fist and like double page spreads like this, like it's not the same. This is still weird to me, nine door dragon. I'm so used to nine arts dragon. I mean, I, I'm assuming this is probably the more accurate um, translation to Gumorion, if that's how we say it. I, just, I, don't, I don't speak Korean. Um, but I think this might, this literally just might be the more accurate translation for that name. But us weirder people, when we, when we read it translated or fan translated, um, it was Nine Arts Dragon. And we, for the longest time, we abbreviated that to, um, NA9, NA9 Dragon. <laughs> Get the, when he was, um, a student and his teacher. I think this teacher sacrifices himself, yeah. To protect the black heaven and earth technique. It's one of the few martial arts stories like, come on, look at this. Look at this. You can't get this with color. This contrast with the white of his eyes and like his has a black scale. Just to really show the the rage that he's feeling. But yeah, um the breaker, um I'm hoping New Waves gets a physical release too, um, because the breaker is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, look at this, look at this, look at, oh my God, it's so good. 
part one at the very least is super good new wave sort of is a step down for me and part three is a super step down for me but say what you will um the first breaker always have a special place in my heart this is one of the first korean on web not it wasn't a web comic it's one of the first mon was that i ever read so yeah that was the breaker on to the next one the one i got is after god volume three now let it be known if this gets big i was the first one to call it okay i don't see anyone else talking about it except maybe on the one other video uh, but um if this gets big i started it okay i made it the trend not not that um it matters who started first um um no, i'm just kidding honestly when i say that i mean i like it if more people read after god but it's a it's a pretty niche not a lot of people talk about it it's sort of again lovecraftian hp lovecraft type thing that's like the gods and you know this whole thing that's happening this is sort of what the gods look like which is eldritch abominations like the setting is it feels like modern day tokyo attack on titan ish but you know we'll, we'll see how the story goes the art's pretty good um the story it's pretty it's pretty compelling too the first volume should really suck you in if the first volume doesn't suck you in this might be not this might not be the story for you to begin with but, um the main character the girl she's um i don't have an opinion on her yet um I w I'm hoping she doesn't get annoying. It sucks because this guy was the, um, this dude's friend. So it's sort of like that betrayal. I wish this betrayal happened later. It's too soon for betrayal on someone on our side to be an enemy for the other side. Which is why I don't even like Attack on Titan that much. But at the very least with that, with that betrayal that was going on, it was like, yo, we've been together for so much. You're doing this now? But this, this is only volume three. Am I already having a betrayal like this? I don't know how I feel about that. Now, it's sort of, um, it's sort of like the, um, the shock factor is gone. It's happened too soon. And if it happens again, I'm over it. It's just, I'm sort of, um, sad because um, I do think, um, this manga could go for lots of twists and betrayals. But yeah, this was After God. Again, I recommend it. Um, it's still new, still niche. No one talks about it, that's for sure. And if this gets an anime, and if this gets popular on English translations, just know that I I, I started it first. I Okay, I didn't start it first. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of people that know about this. Just, this just hasn't done a video on it. But um, yeah, this is After God. Um, read it however and whenever you're able to. Right, the next manga I got is... Gachi Akta, Volumes 3 and 4. Another one of the big upcomers, the big upstarts for the new generation of Shonen. Um, people are swearing by this that this is going to be big. Now, let's hope that's the case. Um, all right, give me one second. Um, and I'll admit, it's going good. It really is. Um, Rudo is a very compelling character i'm not gonna lie he he has that rage that i like characters to have personally um he's not soft as like or annoyingly kind as um some characters could be like Rudo was born and raised on the streets and he will act accordingly um Especially that one of the recent chapters was chapter, I think, 39. And he, um, is pounding the hell out of this girl because, um, he sort of, she sort of pseudo mind controlled him and the other people. Um, I'm just curious of this. Oh my god, why is this so hard to open? Okay, yeah, okay, fine. All right. But, um, yeah, Rudo, um, I do like him as a character. He's sort of, well, he's not sort of, he is just a kid, so. I like him, um, I like seeing him do things that are typical of a kid, but he's sort of forced to grow. And also I love how Scribble, like this is a good way to show like a level of distraught 
again, I do think I'm, this is why I think Rudo's power lends itself to like him because he sees the value in all things, even trash. Hence why he's able to use well, his giver abilities on everything. Which I also, I can't wait to see this animated, honestly. It's definitely gonna get animated, like, it's only a matter of time. Oh, I love this pose he does. It's sort of the, it's the pose he does on the first volume cover. I think, like, so to say, it's, it's its activation pose. And this thing gives him the ability to, like, sort of control the other guy. Or be able to control things that has, like, a direct hostility towards Rudo. This is really cool, because Rudo, he doesn't even have to move. Rudo could stay in one place, and this eye controls controls everything that has hostility towards him. And Rudo, all Rudo has to do is make him <laughs> literally go to his fists. Now oh, this is a pretty cool pose too, with the him pointing and the the jinky itself is pointing. This art style is so good too. <laughs> it is super good. Revenge match sort of thing. But yeah, um, it was nice to see Rudo actually get into like a fight per se. <laughs> Again, this art style, like to eat something good, you, like this screams um, Ashi Okubo. You could definitely see his influences in this person's style. Uh, yeah, Gachi Okta. It's it's without a doubt. It's one of the most newest shonen people are talking about. That um, it's gonna get big without a doubt. It's. The art style is good, the premise is good, the power system is good, the main character is sort of compelling. He has that young kid rage that people ate up like back in the Naruto days. So um, yeah, it, it's it's a formula that I can imagine that will be very successful. Um, yeah, that was Gacha Octa Volume 3 and 4. Whenever 5 comes out, I will, you know, do this thing and open it with you guys. So this next set of manga is going to be in English because I can't even find it in Japanese anymore. Black Torch forms one, two, three, four, and five, and this is it. This is it's done. It. I. I don't know if it got axed or not. I think it got axed. I don't know, but um, it's done. It's only five volumes. Um. Also, I don't know if this is necessarily rare or not. I do see some people selling like certain volumes, like volume two, might cost a lot by itself, or maybe volume four, but um. I got it all, so yeah. Um, Tak Tsuyoshi Takaki um, also did Hard Gear, which I'm going to be looking at next after this. But um, yeah, Black Torch. Um, uh, I didn't finish reading this yet. I only finished the first volume, but it's it's very typical. Like I've seen this premise done many times. It reminds me a bit of Togi and Anki. If you know what that is, um, sort of like this main character, he was sort of normal, and then he gets dragged into this organization of superpowered things, and the main character, being the main character, he's sort of special, and he joins this group of people to defeat the things that he encounters in the beginning, or the thing that he became. Okay, Tonganaki is sort of different, but you know, you get the point. Um, again, I, do, I don't need to mention, but the art is very good. The main character is, again, he's sort of boring. Like, I've seen this type of, I will protect the things that I want to protect and die, literally almost die trying. And then this guy saves his life. I've We've seen this story before, but I've only seen the first volume, so I'm not going to be quick and judge it. Because um, it, this story can actually be really good, who knows? And then, yeah. The main character, Jiro, Asuma, and Rago. But yeah, um, this is Black Torch. Again, I only read volume one. I will read volumes two, three, and four, and five, and I'll see how it is. Um, uh, hopefully, I mean, the art's good. I don't have to worry about the art, that's for sure, but. Um, Plot might leave a lot to be, um, I might, you know, might just end up being boring, who knows. But yeah, um, Black Torch, it's a short part, I don't want to go through all the volumes since I'm, I didn't read it, and I sort of want to not spoil myself for something that might happen towards the end, so, 
But yeah, that was my Twitch. On to the next one. Next and final set of manga I have is, well, I already said it, Heart Gear. Volumes one, two, three, and four. Four came out just a while ago, but I, ha I had to get it. Um, I like how the covers are sort of similar to like um, Black Torch. I am praying to God this doesn't get axed. I'm praying because the author, um, Takahitsu Yoshi, just announced that he's going on another hiatus and i'm i'm over it i'm over it because togashi also announced he's going on another hiatus so um yeah um good things good things and hiatuses coincide except for one piece <laughs> one piece is um something that oda is a god with i don't know i don't know how he's able to upload that um not upload what am i saying um, publish that weekly and keep drawing weekly and do it consistently forever. Um, again, I do think Heart Gear is a better story. The setting is more compelling. The premise is better. Um, it's more sci-fi. I do like sci-fi um, stories. What I like is that there'll be some span like panels and which is just like an environment shot, environment shot, some talking, but environment, 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 environment. Still no talking. Well, a little bit of talking. It really gets you into the setting. Also, again, it's still sort of scratchy, but it reads well from like afar. It reads perfectly well. I hope my camera's focusing well. Let me see Chrome in his base form, so to speak. Then hit um, Chrome with Rue and Zet. Sort of become like, you know, a mini family in which they, you know, we get along, it's all fun and games. Um, she's learning, the Chrome is learning, Zed is teaching, and they're like one big happy family. But you know, that's not how stories go. There always have to be conflict, or else um, where would we go in stories? Then we get this, the insane unit. Um, Zed is, or Zed? What is his name, Zed? I need to read this, hold up, Zep? What is his name? I don't know, uh, does it say his name? Okay, doesn't, does, does she say? Yeah, Zet, yeah. And then the Saiyan comes, brings um, Zet's head um, very um, kindly because this head contained the thing that we need to help him build him. Then Chrome is like, oh snap, I gotta do something takes the hit and then oh wait this is my true form which is a pretty cool dude ain't that convenient and um yeah it turns out chrome is very strong and now they're on a journey to you know um rebuild zet because this is sort of like his um as it says is it's his core unit so yeah uh that's the story they go out fight other gears and i don't mean the guilty gear type of gears um these were called droids i remember for the longest and then um, i think due to copyright they changed the name to gears and all the things like gears I, when i say yes i only think of guilty gear now but you know yeah has a mini fight with this maid but chrome being the outstanding upstanding guy that he is refuses to fight until she sort of you know overheats or something and um yeah then she you know she gets soft and you know all that my biggest concern too was that the gears most of the gears are gonna look like humans and that was gonna piss me off there's no way that we're gonna have a setting which all of humanity if not all most of humanity is wiped out with a rule implying to be one of the only humans if not the last human then have these other gears just end up looking human that would have upset me massively there was but i'm glad that um most there's there's gonna be some gears that are like you know you know sort of look like machines and later in the story we see like um some machines like look, looking like animals some machines some other humanoid machines but they actually look like robots like please like something like this i'm fine with but this other kid here he just looks like a kid but he's a gear and um, i i was I was going to be very upset if that was the case. Um, then we see Chrome sort of has like a, a an awakening, of course, in which like he sort of gives goes berserk. 
gets very strong, but he doesn't know friend from foe. You know, classic manga things like that. So, um, yeah. It, it does get a bit um horny with, um you know, this character. Go figure. Um, I hope I don't have to censor that. They're robots. You know, what can we do? Um, but yeah, this is Harkia. I await the day that Takaki Tsuyoshi gets off hiatus and continues. Um, if this gets cancelled or axed, I'm gonna lose my mind. But, you know, if it, did, if it does, um, it was a nice run while I lasted. But yeah, that's the last bit of manga that I have. But, well, that I'm willing to show right now. On to the art books. Okay, for art books, we're gonna start small. Uh, it's Control T Mini by uh, Asano Inio. So, um, yeah, you probably know this guy for things like, you know, Goodnight Pun Pun or De 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 Destruction something, something. I don't know how to say the whole title. And works like that. Um, I know there's a bigger version of this, but I couldn't find the bigger version, so this is all that we got. Um, love the detailed backgrounds. I need to finish Goodnight Pun Pun. I started it. I didn't finish. I know that's a sinful thing to say. But give me time, I'll, I'll get to it. Um, this might end up looking like it's just another manga, which is mostly just a manga, but this, um, you know, this is an art book now. We're in the art book section of this video, so I'm not lying when I say that. You see some of the pieces he's done. I really like the mechanical detail on the things he draws. Also just all the details he does in general. I, th I don't I don't remember. Is he a traditional digital artist? I don't remember. I need to... Well, I'm definitely going to do artist analysis on, on him eventually, without a doubt. But... His art, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like... Hold up. Hold up. What was that? <laughs> I do know he uses photos. And to be fair, again, photos are not cheating unless he, like, you use them right. It's like eyeshadow. Yeah, just like works he's done, so on and so forth with some manga material and probably like an interview or a storyboard section. Yeah. Asano Inio. Um, I think I do know he has another art book that I might get eventually. Probably called Control T2. Um, there's a bigger version of this because this book is as big as my hand and I do have big hands. So, um, yeah, I do want the bigger version of this. I don't really like art books when they're this small. It's sort of, sort of um, annoying because all my other art books are big and just having this next to so it's sort of weird. So, um, yeah, on to the next one. The art book that I'm going to show you guys is this. Now, I'm going to do a short on this eventually. I already opened it, so there's no shrink wrap. But I am going to do um, shorts on some art books that I want to give like um, a special look at because... I um, believe some art books should, you know, have like videos or at least quick videos dedicated to them. Um, by the way, it's called, um, I think, Hyaka by um, Reoen. Reoen? Yeah. Um, the person that did Arc Nights and other client work. So, um, yeah, this is the client work. I really like this person's painting style it's digital work i really like the um color palette to use um not too bright pastel or jewel tones um really good use of color and color theory honestly like this one like also this is another thing i need to mention some artist analysis videos framing um dark and light this character is framed by the lights in the windows. Um, knowing how to frame your figure so it's not lost in the foreground or background, but using the light from the window, really good technique that I really need to incorporate. Nice one too, nice um, same setting, just like a destroyed, a destroyed background. Also, I, I like these double um, spreads, like large, wide, um, pieces. I really like this one too. Really desaturated, like skin tones, like nothing too bright. 
Oops, that was a lot. It's really nice too. All right, I'm not gonna show everything. I gotta show a bit of everything. You know, a bit of the art books. I'm not gonna show everything because how rude would that be? I need you to. I need you guys to buy these art books. I like I show a bit of it. If you like it, go out and get it yourself. Very nice. Set. Also, sorry for the glare too. Um, I don't want to the glare to obstruct the beautiful artwork. I really like this. The perspective on this is pretty good too. I love this color palette. Like it's warm. Like not like the only thing bright technically is this pink, but since everything is like this warm hue, it sort of goes well with each other. Also the blue is very desaturated, which is good. Very good. But this art book is pretty pretty good. I would recommend it if you have the time to find and get it. Um, oh my god. Hold up. This might be the most challenging part of the video. Oh, can I get it in? Could I get it? Please? Okay. Okay, yeah. That was Hyaka by Reuen. On to the next one. Okay, for the next art book, I've got Visions, Edge, um, Evil, and Power, or I think it says Aku to Chikara. I might be wrong with that, but uh, it, it says Evil and Power, so I, you gotta love the cover for this. I posted this on my Twitter, and I said I got this mainly because of the, um, the cover. It looks so nice. Um, yeah. I... I do think I have a terrible habit of buying some art books because of the cover. Um, I don't necessarily prescribe that way of getting art books since you might be buying something you may hate. So um, definitely look up what you're getting, if probably online or a YouTube video like mine, that um, shows what the, what the inside may entail. And... Um, I already know I like some of the work that's in here, honestly. Um, it shows some process or illustration making. Um, speaking of illustration making, there's some illustration making art books that's dedicated to certain art artists that I'm going to look at and probably do a series on, honestly. I know there's some people that hate art books that like lie to you and just show the process or tutorial. And I can't relate because I'm an artist and I love process um, stuff. <laughs> Um, also, this is an anthology, so it sort of has like different types of artists. But the main theme, or I guess the thematic of this book, is like mainly like dark, drab, like pieces. And honestly, I like it. It's um, it's pretty good. I so I sort of like this concept of like not. I guess I don't know if bleak is the right word to use for this. Well, the, the name of this book is called, like, you know, like, Evil and Power. So, maybe, I mean, it's more, it's appropriate to use. Like, more darker types of illustrations. Nothing, like, particularly happy or, like, you know, cheerful. But we see the process of this. This is such a cool cover. But, yeah. Yeah. Nothing to, um, you know, bright colors. And if there are bright colors, I use in a way in which it um, fits the overall dark theme. Again, look at this picture by itself. Desaturated tones all over the place. But um, yeah, Vision's Edge, illustrator's book, Evil and Power. Um, yeah, get it if you want. I wouldn't necessarily tell this to get this, tell someone to get this immediately, but it's a nice art book to have on. To yeah, so I know this sure. one's gonna be a big contrast to the next one, and it's this one, which is um, Seishun Illustrations, I think. Youth Illustrations. All right. Um. Yeah. Youth Illustrations. I think it's definitely not gonna be as drab or dark. I mean, the cover by itself looks pretty cheerful high school or esque so it's probably gonna you know have those moments of joy uh, not me though because i hated high school high school was a terrible time for me high school sucked for me christ 
Hey, yep, oh, it's already brighter. Bright colors already. Got the cover already. Yeah. Also, I also like these illustrations, like more positive themed ones. This is really nice. Oh, I really like this, um, the sky in this. Oh my God, these are all good. These are all very good. My, I regret that this book is this small. Like again, it's almost like sort of the size of my hand. Well, not exactly, that's a complete lie. But if this was like bigger, instead of like a hard cover instead of this soft cover one, this would be amazing. Oh, this one. I, I remember seeing this picture on Twitter once. Like, I like how they do the focus. With, like, the oceans and the sky is sort of out of focus, but the figure is. This is sort of another um, type of framing, to be fair, honestly. This is a really good one, too. Like, the way the desk is rendered. Use of lighting. Again, using the light as the, from the windows as a way of framing the main character oh my god this book is full of really good pieces honestly but again i'm not gonna look at all of them because i'm gonna need you to buy this book yeah so yeah this was youth illustrations really good one um again i just wish it was bigger and hardcover it feels like say like this size not too big but a good a4 size that'd been amazing but yeah on to the next one and i think maybe the last one yeah, I think maybe the last one. Yeah. Okay, I lied. It's not the last one, but I do have this one to show you. Um, Rondo, which is um, the ladies' graphic magazine, a functional creation of Hiromi Matsu. Um, dance in fashion. So, yeah, um, I got this. Um, I saw the cover. It looked like a nice vintage feeling. Once again, I don't suggest getting art books because the cover appeals to you, because you might be getting something you may hate. Yeah, Rondo. It has an archive, has the years. Oh, the paper feels nice too. Oh, well not nice, but it feels different. <laughs> It's a ladies graphic magazine. Ooh, I love this. Nice details. I love the fashion aspect, like really unique. Oh, it's a summer style. So yeah, it, yeah, it is. It's what it says what's on the what is on the cover. So I'm like fashion. But what else? But what else? Do they have like different seasons? Oh, different years. Which could also be a nice way to um, sec made a magazine for fashion. Except the seasons, we have the years. I really like this like graphic design, like like composition for the layout for the pages. Because that in and of itself is an art. Like how to lay out the page and the art pieces with the text. Like English text going this way and like this color change and the Japanese text going down and we got the cover how to wear one color yo I really need to show this book to some friends because they don't know how to dress oh this is nice how to wear certain colors this is a really good book oh my god this is super cool Okay, I'm not gonna show everything because I'm need I need you guys to buy this too. But yeah, Rondo, um I will I do think the next book I have is the last one. Yeah, it's definitely the last one. I'm not lying this time. So yeah, I definitely got this book. I do like it. It's a really nice book. I don't know if I, um this art style is necessarily for everyone, but I accept all art styles. So yeah, on to the next one. Okay, this last one is sort of special because um, my friend got it for me for Christmas. See, I told you this would be a Christmas episode. It thematically makes sense. I have something wrapped in um, Christmas 
wrapping, so I will open it. Okay. Shout out to you, Rin, if you are watching this video. She's probably not, but you know, if she is, um, don't say I didn't shout you out. But um, yes, Innocent or Innocent Blue. There are an art book from us. Could I focus? Yeah, focus. Sakamoto Shinichi. I mentioned this artist in passing in some videos of how this guy is one of the more heavily detailed artists. This person's artwork is super detailed. Um, in my head, in my head, there's always like a, a so to speak, a top. Um, a top five list of artists that I really like, or um, a top 10. And it's always changing on how I feel. And But this person's always been an artist that I'm just like, this guy might be in my top 10. Like, you see, I think this is something like, no, this is probably like a more um, interview-esque style portion. Yeah, it shows some of more black and white artwork. Um, but yeah, let's see what's in it. Let me move this there. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What What is this? Hold up. Is this a poster? Am I opening it the wrong way? No, it's just big. It's the cover. Oh my god, it is huge. It fills up my entire table. My table's not that big, spoilers. All right, that's very, that is very cute. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this in the book though, because I have got nowhere to put that. Yeah, I have some of this colored work. Um, also big spoilers I didn't read any of this guy's work I just know this art because I follow him on Instagram and I've seen lots of people talk about his work um, I did see him do some of his processes it's most I'm not I don't know if most but a lot of it is digital he does a lot of digital work currently I don't know if he was more um traditional back then but regardless He's pretty good as an artist. I don't think this style is everyone's style per se, but whether you like a style or not, I think one can at least appreciate um, the level of detail one has to do to get this style effect. His nose he draws are massive. Christ. This guy, um, Sakamoto Shinichi. So um, yeah that was the last art book thank you guys so much for watching um it was a handful of art books and a handful of manga no comic books today unfortunately but um yeah christmas passed i didn't do a video but this is sort of the video for christmas um i'm gonna do probably one more video for new year's whether it's that's gonna be tomorrow or on new year's day but um, yeah, to commemorate 2023, I'm sort of going to be an update video as well to sort of see where the channel's going to go, what videos I might do. Um, I know I didn't upload an arts analysis before Christmas or New Year's. I'm sorry. This video is, the script is killing me. Let's just say that. I'm really trying hard to make this a good video. So please bear with me and wait. Um, and it will get, definitely get done. I mean, uh, it, it'll, it will definitely get done without a doubt. But, um, yeah, if you like the video, like comment um the youtube algorithm algorithm really likes that if you do those things and i'll really like it if you guys subscribe it's free it's easy um you won't see me in your feed that much because i don't upload often to begin with so ha huh? so yeah subscribe why not um the more people that subscribe and support me um you know i will be able to put post more videos like this in the future i haven't drawn on this channel a lot either and I really want to start doing that more often because this is an art channel. So um, more art videos like me drawing and not really talking about art. Hopefully they're going to be showing up more. Um, if you want to check out my social media accounts, they're all in the description at the bottom there. My Instagram, my 
Twitter, my Twitch that I don't use yet, um, Patreon if you want to support me, that's still sort of in construction, but if you want to support me there, that's fine too. But um, yeah, all that actually will be addressed in the update video, honestly. So um, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Okay, um, I lied. This is sort of the next day, but my friend gave me, um, another friend gave me a gift. So <laughs> what better time to do this than now? Um, yeah, let's open it. I actually have no idea. Oh, okay, no. Okay, I know what art book this is. I was wondering like, what other art book did I want again? And it's um this. The Dot Hack 20th Anniversary series, sort of like art anniversary book. Um, again, I think I mentioned this here and there in some videos, but Dot Hack does not get talked um, about these days. Um, they remade the GU games, um, not remade it, but they ported it to the PS4 and the Switch, but I don't think anyone played those games, unfortunately. Um, okay, so I'm assuming they go with history of hack, I like the anime with the hack sign, luminality, um, the legend of Twilight manga, and then the legend of Twilight anime, and things like that. To go over the light novels, they go over the MMORPG that did not go anywhere. And that roots you do not you did not have to watch this anime to appreciate the games this is how i got interested um into um dot hack in the first place was the gu games um i played one and two i didn't play the third one because uh, my friend at the time let me borrow these two and i was hooked these games were good and again um they ported it to the um ps4 and let's switch and ain't nobody played it um yeah no one played last year code so i think this was their last hurrah to decide if the dot hack series was worth investing in to sort of go forth with the series um that didn't happen unfortunately the dot hack gu manga and yeah some other spin-off things the dot hack trilogy good movie sort of like an abridged version of the games dot hack, dot hack link that we never got in the states or, or anywhere in america go figure i don't know if this even finished i think it like stopped at a few volumes and it just ended go figure i didn't play the game i don't know really how the story ends or where it goes but i'm assuming like you know Tokyo just goes to different timelines and not different timelines, but different eras of the world and sort of saves people, I'm guessing. But you know, you got Quantum, which is like a mini thing. Um, Sekai no Mikoni. Um, was it the other side of the world? What was that? The heck, the movie. What was this called in English? I don't remember. I don't know. Um, after this, I know we had a dot hack versus in which um, Tokyo came back for that in a hood. Yeah, dot hack versus, which came with the movie, which played like a a Naruto Storm game. Then we had um Guilty Dragon, which lightly was like a a night like a light touch in the dot hack series. Um, after that. The heck, New World? I don't know anything after this or anything here. It seems like they're just um. Hey, what is this? What is this? The light novel. Yeah, like no one talks about Dot Hack. I don't think um there's a chance for the series to come back. Unfortunately, it um had a good run right now. I I don't think um. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna come back, but I do love the series. I, I did want this anniversary book because I, this series does hold a special place in my heart, especially um, GU and the original four games Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine, which somewhere in the beginning. Yeah, these games are really good stories, honestly. Um, I did the Trapped in the Video Game slash Isekai first, but um, 
yeah now that was it okay now this was the official last book um like come like comment subscribe and you know the class thing see you guys in the next one oh and before that this was a gift from my friend fortune and um another friend gave me this for christmas i'm not gonna make you see the message she wrote for me but um she drew this she drew this well this is nico robin from one piece for christmas and um yeah thank you so much um aika for drawing this and thank you so much fortune for getting me this um yeah again i'll see you guys in the next one shout outs to you guys you guys are the best